I always try to keep it around 80 to 100 animals because I'm a sole person and I don't drive a car. Well, someone once told me actually it wouldn't be possible to run the sanctuary using a bicycle. <laughs> but that gave me a personal challenge to show them that it was. And when I go around my bicycle, I often see a lot of animals neglected or just abandoned in these types of locations. Well, that's how I was able to find the Astrid. And she'd spent four years locked in a horrible little barn. That's always my favourite moment when we bring them to the sanctuary and we see how they act in that type of environment. They get to see other animals of their same species and they get to just be free. I started the Fields of Freedom nearly seven years ago now. The first property we had, the fields there and the land for the animals was fantastic. It was one of the most beautiful places. Although the farm house itself was really bad for human living conditions, I don't mind myself living without central heating, without running water, but there's no way I would put an animal in that. And one of the neighbours, he just wanted to cause them harm. Two of the pigs were poisoned by a rat poison that was put into their feeders. Glass was put into the ducks' feeders. I was physically assaulted myself. It got to the point where we, it was time to leave. It was a race against time. I've had to move all the animals. That was, that was a challenge, but I always wanted to find the most peaceful location. A lot of the animals needed that after coming from very stressful and often high energy environments. They just needed to find peace really. The main thing that keeps me going is looking into the animals' eyes every day and knowing what would have happened to them if I hadn't have made the sacrifices I had for them. It's a blessing really to be able to work with them every day.